What's going on, guys? We go back with another Dragon Flight video. You're all doing very well. Uh, my transmog is terrible because people on stream have been messing with it, and I have no control over what I'm wearing anymore in game. Wait, should I do that as a reward? An IR? Nah, I'm just kidding. Won't do that. Okay, we got vault today. I think I have like six vaults or something. So this one we were on priest. Uh, priest did pretty well last week. We've got twenty-seven, twenty-four rating. Uh, we need like trinkets. I need like a healing trinket. So let's just loot for holy and see what we get. Um, oh, what do we get? A waste. That'll do. Actually, that's really good. Literally just thirteen item level upgrade. It might even be more. I might have uh, crests. That's crit haste is fine. Do I have crests? Oops, I just got rid of my details. Uh, we have... We can upgrade once. That's actually sick. I'll take it. Uh, where'd it go? What's with... Why does Blizzard put things in really weird places? Waste. It's right there. Okay. Let's upgrade this puppy. Can we do it twice? Nope, just once. Okay, fair enough. Wow, that's actually massive. Okay, that's 16 item level upgrade right there. Huge. A huge. All right, looking good. Looking good so far. That's our priest done. Like I said, I think we've got priest, hunter, warrior, druid, monk, shaman. Three, four. That's six, right? <clears throat> four plus two is six, guys. We just did math live on camera. Uh, you should all be proud of me for the math that I just did. Thank you, thank you. I think it deserves a like on this video, actually. For doing math in a video. Do you know what I mean? Like difficult math too. It wasn't like, uh, you know, simple. It was like I had to. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's look for survival. Survival, survival, survival. Hunter. Um, our trinkets are okay. What we really need is like legs would be good. The neck is terrible. A neck would be really good. Legs and neck. Oh, or, or wrist. Or a weapon. Legs, <laughs> wrist. I'm calling it right now. We're going to get legs, wrist. What did I say? Waist. No, legs, wrist, something, or a weapon. <laughs> hey, we got a wrist. I called it. Let's go. I freaking called it, boys. The predictions. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> That's the only thing I predicted was that we would get a wrist, and we got one. So... I'm basically like Oracle Priest, you know? The new Oracle Priest got an S. That's actually a big upgrade. All memes aside, that's a big upgrade. I would have preferred a weapon, to be honest. But we got what I predicted. So, uh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. When you can predict like I can, the exact piece of gear that you want to get, and then you just get it, that's pretty insane, right? Let's be real. <laughs> Let's go on to Warrior. I think I only have one vault on Zivorier. I think I want to loot for Prot. I'm in Prot right now. Yeah, we could use like anything. Let's. I'm gonna call him. We're gonna get a shield. We're getting a shield. Okay, I'm actually. We'll do an honest for goodness uh, prediction. We're getting a shield. You ready? There it is. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Look at the stamina on that. <laughs> it's almost got 1,300 stamina. What? And it's a tear piece. Oh my god. I think I have one tear piece. Yeah, I do. Spending rage is a chance to consume shield time to consume your bleeds on the target, instantly dealing 40% of your deep wounds and 100% of thunderous roar. That's just a wall of text. That is like so much text right there. I don't know how to read. Why would Blizzard put things in front of me that I have to read? You know what I mean? Okay, that is a huge upgrade. 470 item level. I wonder... I really hope... Uh, why is my screen green? What's happening? Is this the dream? Oh, it's the dream. Cool. I really hope that the stats on the tier piece are okay. But regardless, we're getting 1,300 freaking stamina. So, that's kind of bananas. And we're happy about it. Let's put this in there. Okay, what's it going to turn into? Oh, haste mastery. All right, sure. Like big haste. That's kind of nice. What's this? That's season two, right? Running rage. Is, yeah, that's season two. That's season two. Okay, so that's all we have right now. 
Okay, okay, okay. Look at this thing. 1,300 stamina. Whoa. We went from 892 to 937. That is crazy. That is a crazy upgrade. So now we have two-piece plus two-piece, right? Yeah. Uh, interesting. Spending range is a chance to cause your next shield stem to consume your bleeds. Remaining of your deep... So that's only on single target, right? It's only single target. That's really interesting. I didn't realize that. Oh, well, that's cool. Two plus two. Let's go to Druid. Druid, we have three piece already. I really need a fourth tier piece. So I'm going to predict... Um, Let me look here, first of all. We're predicting. Get your prediction hats on. Put them on. Get ready. It is snowing like crazy outside right now. It's like giga snowing. Okay. <clears throat> we have a veteran two-piece there. I know it's veteran, but look at our legs. We really need legs. Please, Blizzard. Please give me legs. This is what I, I beg of you. If I get one prediction, I just want my legs. Uh, let's go resto. Okay, I really, really want legs. Please give me legs. Please give me legs. Please give me legs. Legs, 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 legs. No! We got boots and gloves. Oh, the gloves I already have. Oh... That's good for, like, Resto, but not very good for Feral. Champion Boots. I literally have a 395 Lariat. Like, I could probably just upgrade the Lariat later. I don't even know why I have Stamina Gems in there. Don't don't look at me. Everybody look away. That's only a Hero Neck, so we probably want a Mythic Piece, right? I think we go here, 444, even though it's 395. I think this is the better choice because we can turn this into Tier. This is 457, 444. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the gloves are the best choice. Mythic tier is, like, really good, right? We can always get a necklace. Just I know this is what you guys are going to say to me. We can always craft another necklace. We can always go get another necklace. So I think the mythic gloves are the play. We just have to turn it into tier. We're going to go do that real quick here. Oh, we can fly in here. Oh, 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 oh. there we go. Got it. Two Dreaming Coalescence worth. Worth, boys. Absolutely worth. Did I not research the... I didn't. That's sad. Um, that's a great upgrade there. Obviously, there were a few choices there for Druid, but realistically, I think, as you would all say in the comments, a Heroic Neck, which I could just go farm, is nowhere near as valuable as a Mythic piece that I cannot farm. So that's good. So we're going to do that. Okay. Just a straight upgrade there. 942 stamina. That's pretty insane. Also good for like Feral, of course. Or um, any other spec that I decide to play. Three item levels from that. And our uh, health went way up as well. So that's good. We're still only sitting at 2 plus 2 piece on the Druid. So we're going to... We have 3 out of... Sorry, we're not 2 plus 2. I think we're 3 out of... Five, of um, yeah, we have three pieces. I just need to find one more piece and convert it. Ideally, um, shoulders or legs would be really good because they're both adventure and it's, like, really bad. We'll get there. Okay, that's those four characters. Now we have Monk and Shaman. We're going to do Monk first. I think I only have two vaults on the Monk, unfortunately. I didn't quite get eight keys done yesterday, but we were busy, as you can see, with a lot of other characters. Doing a lot of other keys, having a lot of fun, just on ults. The monk is also just incredibly geared. There's actually not a single upgrade I can actually get, I don't think, except for sockets. So this will get us a socket, I think, guaranteed. Let me just check one more time. Mythic trinket, mythic trinket. Uh, oh, heroic ring. That'd be the only one. Mythic ring, because we have a mythic ring, crafted boots, mythic pants, crafted belt, mythic hands, mythic wrists. Mythic, 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 Mythic. This is crafted as well, but it's... So, really, it's a ring or a socket on something. And at this point in time, the ring would be good, for sure. Any ring would be good. Oh, a Mythic Waycrest music box. I don't actually need that, though. Um, This has leech. It's a mace. Do I have an offhand? can't type apparently offhand no I don't I don't right let's just quadruple check that yeah I don't okay 
So I don't have an offhand to put this with. The music box is actually really cool, but I have amazing trinkets. We're just going to take the tokens. I actually really would like a mythic music box at some point, but not on on um, the Mistweaver. I just have so many trinkets that are way better in Mythic Plus um, and in Raid. So, Okay, we got tokens. We have enough tokens to get a socket. Add a socket to Dragonflight Season 3 item. Perfect. Okay, now... We put it on, like, our chest or something? What can you put these on? Oh, we can do it on this or our rings. Or our uh, mythic wrists. We probably just want that, right? We're never getting rid of these this waste, I don't think. So, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? It really doesn't matter. We just put it on there. Now we need a gem. I have one already. Crit verse is cool. Sure, crit verse is fine. I'll just put that in there for now. All right, cool. We got a socket. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Now, the last one, the shaman. The very last vault for today. Our shaman. Here's the thing I really, really want on shaman. None of my predictions have really come true today, except for the very first one where I predicted four things and then, you know, got what I was looking for, of course. Here's what I really, really need on the shaman. I need a Balefire branch from Waycrest Manor. I ran... Several Waycrest manners last week. I don't think that really matters, but I need a Balefire branch. So I'm in Ellie spec. I really, really need a Balefire branch. Somebody's typing to me. So it would replace my Vessel of Skittering Shadows. I really just need a Balefire. So everybody, give me your energy. Give me the Balefire branch energy. We're going to get one right here. Okay, this is it. We're going to get a Balefire for my Ellie Shaman. Three, two, one, go. No! We didn't get one. We already have a Mythic Chest. Mythic Ring is actually pretty good. Mythic Boots is pretty good, too. Is the ring better? Haste Verse is not good for Ellie Shaman. It's kind of good for Resto, but it's like... Heavy haste. I would want. I would want like heavy crit or heavy verse. So I think it's the boots for sure. Um, it's a small upgrade, but it's an upgrade. The ring is just. I, I want crit on my ring. Verse is good too, but it, I would want like high verse, low haste. Um, at this point. So let's go upgrade these boots, and call it a day. We're gonna look at the mythic plus week ahead of us as well. It is a tyrannical week, which is generally very bad, just in general. But, um, oh, that's not right. But we're going to stay optimistic. Look at this Balefire branch. Champion Balefire branch. It's trolling me. It's trolling me. Oh, there's the boots. Like, where are the boots that I just got? I know I just picked up something. Okay. There we go. That's an upgrade. We need to put Watcher's Loam on it. We are 487. 486 equip. What's the 487? I like a different trinket or something. I don't know what is 487. I'm not sure what I could put on that's better. I have a mythic iridals on this guy. I forgot about that. Sorry about the lag. Let's get Watcher's Loam really quick, and then we'll talk about the mythic plus week coming up. Watcher's Loam. Sure. There we go. Put it on. Oh, I got an auction house stuff. There we go. Look at that. Making money. Very, very small amounts of money. Uh, here we go. We got it on. Okay, so we're we're 486, 7. Pretty good. Now, let's look at the Mythic Plus week. We did get some Mythic Plus dungeons done last week. Last week, my goal was to get as many 25s done as I could. And I got 6 out of the 8 dungeons done on 25. So that was really, really cool. Um, I actually got a 26 Black Rick Hole done as well. So this week we have some catching up to do. I have a 23 Everbloom that I could upgrade for sure. And then we have 23 Rise, 23 Tides that we're really going to be trying to get these ones up. Because if we get 24, even a 25 done on them, then our rating will go up quite a bit. So I'm pretty excited about that. But this week it is Storming Raging. Raging is actually like 
way worse than I initially thought it would ever be. Um, this mechanic, when it first got when they first changed it, I thought, well, this is going to be super easy because it just means that you can't crowd control them, but that's no big deal. In some packs, you really need to be able to crowd control enemies, like Black Rook Hold, for example. All the mobs, like in all all the trash packs in Black Rook Hold, raging is so annoying. However, raging without fortified is actually pretty good because. Um, the mobs aren't buffed by like 20 or 30 percent. So when they are unable to be CC'd, it's not the end of the world. They're not doing crazy amounts of damage with their spell cast that you can't crowd control. You can still kick enemies that have raging, but you can't crowd control them. That's the only uh, big thing. Another another thing I would say is if you're playing Evoker this week, um, then I would say it's a really, really good week to be on Evoker. Um, just one simple reason is that, let's say you're playing Devastation Evoker, which I've seen a lot more of them last week. You can take Oppressive Roar with Overawe, and it says Oppressive Roar removes one Enrage effect from each enemy, and its cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds for each Enrage spell. I believe that that works with Raging. So if a whole pack gets low at the same time, you pop Oppressive Roar, it removes the Raging, which means you can crowd control them again, and it reduces the cooldown of Oppressive Roar by 20 seconds per enemy. So I think that um, Evokers are like going to be really good this week for that CC for some dungeons. It might not matter as much because it's not Fortify Week, as I said, but I think uh, Evokers is going to be really, really good this week. So... That's my plan for this week. We're going to do more Mythic Plus. I'm going to try to get some 25 stone on Rise and Throne and Everbloom the best I possibly can. This is a really rough week because it's just tyrannical on these keys. It's just really bad. I'm going to keep doing some alts. I'm going to keep just doing lots of Mythic Plus for you guys on stream. If you guys have not been noticing, I'll do a little plug here at the end. I am streaming live on YouTube right now every single night. So... I'm, I'm taking a break from Twitch just for a little bit to do a little experiment with YouTube and see if it's going to be good. So if you haven't come out and checked me out live, please go check it out. I'm, I'm on every single night, usually starting in the afternoon into the evening. So um, come check me out. I would love to see you guys there. Thank you so much for everything. Let me know what you got in your vault in the comments down below or jump on the Discord and drop a picture in the Discord and show everybody what you got and we can talk about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. I will see you in the next one.